Girl, you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny Yeah. No longer blinded, I can see you So now you found this duck So they put these around the ship It says, keep or hide, you decide But only hide me in public places No shops or pools So she can either keep this or hide it She wanna hide it I, She kept, I kept the last one Yeah, um, Disney a couple years ago so she's hiding it right there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we at this cafe. Today is Wednesday. We're headed to Sitka, Alaska. No. Sitka. Sit. No stick. Sit. It's irritating. Do y'all have any uh, frappuccinos? We have caramel coffee or mocha. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, um, the mocha is chocolate. Chocolate. Okay, I'll try that. The small, we, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's, we, fine. Well, but, uh, that's fine. Whipped cream. Yes. You got a drinks package, ma'am? No. Okay. Anything else? Um, the strawberry aside. Strawberry aside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Uh, oh. Car. Just one uh, okay. transaction. Yes. Stop it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leave I love mine. Yep. Yep. That's nice and warm. Good sign for me. Thank you. Pretty. Yesterday, or the day before yesterday. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Somebody found it. Dang, that was quick. We was down there, what, maybe 30 minutes? Yo, why Clee will spot another one? Get it, babe. You can't get it. Oh. <laughs> you gonna keep this one or hide it? This one is different. Look at this one. Oh, you found a duck. This one different looking. This one yeah. got something on his head. So she gonna keep it. this one. This one got a little passport. So pretty. It smells so fresh out here. I don't think so. It's blending. It's not blending. What? So can I put my vest on this? Now you can do what you want to do. Technically, you can do what you want to do. Poo poo. Bars. Yeah. <laughs> that is a bar. Yeah. Technically, you can do what you want to do. Poo poo. No. <laughs> So the bus just dropped us off downtown Sitka. Yeah, just in case one get all wet. Well, they laminated, so it's fine. Oh, yeah, it's not like paper. Yeah, so. But here's some trails and stuff like that. Sitka National Park. Um, Looking up the admission to the Science Center. <laughs> I was like, that sucks. They got to ride in on that old bus. Because we came in on one of the, like, you know, the coach buses, like these right here. So we at the information center, go in there and get a map. They got a few, um, you know, like little exhibits or whatever in there. And this is where they're going to pick us up at. So y'all seen the map. So we're going to walk the streets of downtown Sitka. Okay. So I told Cleveland, don't ask me nothing, just go. I'll just lead the way. I don't feel like thinking, I don't feel like I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> just lead the way. But if you couldn't get an excursion through your 
the cruise line that you want. They got a lot of excursions that you can you know, get on. They lined up out here. Let me get, oh, oh, there's one. I got, got that it. one. You got yeah, it. I, I, I'm pretty sure I got that one. Oh, that's cool. We've never seen this before. They really jumping down there. Let's go down there. Go further, you see hundreds and hundreds of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, y'all. We on this bridge. Oh, I'm coming. Okay, this the best spot. They are. They going crazy over there. Let's see if I can get closer. All of the salmon just jumping out, running around. Some of them got stuck in the net because of the high tide came in and they got stuck in the net and then obviously when they went back down, they were done. It's a salmon? Yes, every little dot you see out there is a salmon all bunched yeah, they, up on each they other. Feed. Yes, they, they feed. feed. So they're dying. Yes, they're just oh. gonna come up there and die. That's why they catch oh. them and make use of them. Oh, okay. So like, well, why are they dying? Because that's their life cycle. I told you that's what oh, salmon do. Oh, okay. They're just born to swim upstream and die. I said that sucks. <laughs> yeah, they just lay eggs and die. That's why the bears go to the end I mean, and they just catch them eating them. But we have a purpose in life. They all have no purpose. Their, their purpose is to oh, feed the, the bear. They some ate, this, ate the head off or something. This was all full of water right here. Yeah. This the low tide right now. Yeah. They said it's real slick and slippery up there. I just so go up I, here. I'm not going up the rock. Yeah. Move up a little further. You going up, Pooh? If you're not, you better move out the way. See, that's what I'm saying, Pooh, move out the way. Oh, no, 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 no. Tori Birch, I don't think she came prepared. <laughs> they looking at a um, some huge bird over there in the tree. Over there somewhere. Y'all can see him, he up there, he huge. I don't know what it is, but I see him. Ludwig's Ludwig's Chowder Science Center gift shop. We ain't been in the Science Center yet. Huh? I want to try all the local food. World famous, slightly spicy chowder. Did you grab the spoon? Yeah. She got spoons for So we just got a small chowder. Uh, I think it comes with some bread. Food. And Cleveland got a peanut butter. No, I mean chocolate chip. chip. What you say about blueberry? Blueberry sprinkles. 
cream or seasoning. Yeah, mm. Seasoning. Hey, you want to set that down so we can get some? No, you want to get some? It's a little cotton from the Yeah, I'm trying jacket. to get it away from this. It's good, ain't it? Uh, so it's okay. I've had better. <laughs> Down here, a piece of this bread. Mm -hmm. Need some salt. Is it just like salt? It's salt and pepper right there. Oh, that's okay. Probably already full of sodium. Until you added it. Like, I remember last year we tried reindeer chowder. Mm -hmm. With little bubby. Remember, you didn't know it was reindeer. Yeah, I was like, what is this? <laughs> I thought it was just like chicken. All right, she was sitting up there tearing it up. And then we was talking about it. She was like, wait, it got reindeer in it? <laughs> I'm gonna put my hair up because I'm tired of it in my face, even though it's keeping me keeping me warm, but I'm tired That's why of I it. said keep it in a ponytail. You taking it out, so you just keep it in there. I'm gonna do it. I don't wanna be doing this around people's food, so I'll wait till we get out. Oh. That's gone. It's probably good. Where'd you find it? A little bit. Just want the edge, yeah, like the crispy edges. What it tastes mm, like. got a faultiness to it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, she Salty said it got some it. kind of. Why are you running through it? Like got down the beat. Yeah, this yeah. is where we were just walking across. The tide and rolls. It was a pathway where you can walk on the rocks. That's completely nice. What is he doing? Look, and I was like, he about to walk. He he got across. They stayed back. <laughs> <Look at him>. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Taking a picture. But that's crazy how within a matter of minutes. Yeah, it was it already starting. It was already starting. Halfway or whatever, it's just gone. It was already starting. Okay, let's see his buggy back. He gonna go higher. He gonna go higher. Okay. Yeah, everybody watching. He all the way to the top. But the, the, going down and back was a part. Oh, oh, there he is. I told you. I told you. Get your camera ready. I told you. <laughs> I told you. Why are you still it's sick? Completely covered. Uh, it hurt or something? Yeah, but you can't see no more rocks. You gotta hurry up because it's constantly rising. But he don't know where he's walking, though. He either. Right, he yeah, see. that's the thing, too. Yeah. Yeah. He can't really see. Yeah. He shouldn't have took his butt over there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. He need to hurry up. Oh, socks are the way. It's no way. I don't care. He ain't got no big rain boots or nothing. Nah, he's he, um, lifting his pants up, pants wow. leg up. Yeah, it's soaking cold. He made it. Oh, and his booty was probably hurting. That's why he was stuck right, there. He was probably too. stinky. He had to take him. Yeah. Please Look be that. gentle. Yeah, I was you a gentle two finger touch. That's a, what a, is a, that? An enemy. It's, it's like a squid. Yeah, it's real, like sticky and. And it's reacting to everything. Yeah. It's sticky and like Wait, soft and. Right? Do not touch an enemy. Sorry. <laughs> Hard and spiky. Yeah. Mm, look, pull some pretty starfish. Starfish. Oh, can I touch this one? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of soft and squishy. I thought it was gonna be hard. What's that? Oh, yeah, Ooh. yeah, but it's, it don't, all of these are inside. What does it feel like? This is soft and bouncy. Yeah. Ew. You look like a water <laughs> I want to poke it. You feel hard? Yeah, he, well, he kind of feel, oh, what are these? These look creepy, he like that. Sea cucumber. Sea cucumber, you see oh, them? Oh, sea cucumber, yeah. yeah. I heard of them, but I don't, I don't, I don't recognize them. Uh, 
Might as well, huh? Yeah. He's oh, he's soft and squishy. Just waiting on this hatchery tour. It's at 12. Which is about two minutes. That's what she about to do. This is part of what we paid. How much was it to get in? $12? $12 a person. Yeah, so that's part of the. For adults, 10 for a kid, under 12. 12. She asked us if we want to see something cool. These spiky guys, they love protection. So a lot of them will take rocks or shells and put it on their heads. Um, to protect themselves, but they also will try to take you for protection. So if you put your fingers between their spines, which are not sharp, they look spooky, but they're not sharp, um, they'll cling on to you and try to keep you there to protect you. And they're very sweet. They're vegetarians. They eat kelp. So they're not trying to eat you. Is it a tight grip? Like, can you, do you have to use... <laughs> no. <laughs> they feel sticky if you try to touch them. You can actually see it um, because they're trying to sting me, but my skin is just too thick. So they can sting small fish and plants, and that's what they eat. So a small fish will come by, they'll grab it in their tentacles and bring it into their mouths. So we fertilize the eggs, we raise them until they're small fry, and then we release them out into the ocean to live their full adult salmon lives. Um, we are not a fish farm. The fish do not stay here with us for the, all of time. Um, why do we exist? Hatcheries are a response to overfishing that happened in the 70s. Um, so the salmon population dwindled, and salmon are a keystone species here in Alaska. So without the salmon, the environment really suffered. Also, the economy really suffered. The salmon are a staple of the economy here. Um, so hatcheries were a way to rebuild that salmon population. Um, another question is, why can't we let salmon just rebuild the population on their own? Salmon are really bad at making baby salmon. So the females actually do a great job. They'll build a little nest of rocks called a red. They'll lay their eggs and keep them all nice and protected. But then the males do a process called broadcast spawning, which means they just swim overhead and hope something hits. So out in the wild, at best, there's a 30% success rate for fertilization. And after that, those eggs aren't fully protected. They're really fragile and can be eaten by predators pretty easily. So here at the hatchery, we have a 95% fertilization success rate. I promise you there are no predators in our incubation building. So they're just, we're just better at making baby fish than fish are. Um, so that's why we're here. Really simple. We take the female fish, we cut their bellies with a little scalpel, all of the eggs fall out. We put them into what is basically a Home Depot bucket. We then take the males, all you have to do is squeeze their tummies. The milt falls right out. It sounds like milk, but it has a T at the end. The milt falls right out. You put it into the same Home Depot bucket. <laughs> you then stir it with your hand for about 15 seconds, and those eggs are fertilized. That's all it takes. Do I think that's when they all bounce? No, they're not bouncy yet. Oh, they all got the little No, because that's the blue bucket. At this point, I'm going to have you make your way to this place. We can talk about spawning. So, yeah, this is where we started when we see them okay, beating them in the head. Welcome to the spawning table. So, the fish make their way up the ladders. They come through the raceways. That's how we control how many fish are at the end. So if you want a lot of fish, we'll push the doors and gather them all at the end. So they swim under this table, they're gathered at this end next to this gate, and that is where they're brought up in a little fish elevator to their doom. But it's important to remember a, a spawning salmon is a dying salmon. They're dying right now. Um, so we kill them before we take their eggs or their milk. Um, so what that looks like is they're brought up in a little fish elevator. They're put into those black boxes with the chain on it. We mix a little CO2 into their water. They get really fish sleepy. They stop flopping around so much. Um, they then are brought down this front chute. And then I promise you the best way to kill a fish is to bop it on the head with a little bat to do in the eyes. So we're mainly here for education this hatchery. We're so many. Um, we have high school classes come in and we have a lot of visiting colleges. So you'll often see high school kids or uh, young college kids bopping the fish with a little bat. Okay, um, the females are then sent down the two shoots on the right. Uh, their bellies are the flipped. The eggs fall into the, 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 the bucket. 
And then the males are sent down the three shoots to the left. We have too many males, so one of them just goes straight into a bucket. Um, and then uh, they're brought inside. The eggs are rinsed, so there's no blood or guts in them. And then they're dumped into that blue cylinder we saw earlier. Um, the way we tell male fish from female fish, um, the males have scary mouths. When males start to spawn, their mouths get really pointy and their teeth get really scary. But some of the smaller males you can't tell, so the best way to, to really tell the gender is to feel the tummy. The female fish are so filled with eggs that their tummies are really round and they'll feel like a waterbed. The males have thin tummies that are pretty hard. So most of the time, you're just feeling their stomachs before you send them on their way. Oh, also, what do we do with the murdered carcasses? <laughs> Those are no good for us to eat because they're dying and rotting already. Um, so our local seafood processor, Silver Bay Seafoods, takes them away to be made into pet food. We also send some of the fish to Fortress of the Bear so the bears can munch on fish, and the raptor centers so that the raptors can munch on fish as well. morning it is day four we are in icy point straight and i wanted to come on here and show y'all how my camera messed up well i messed it up because i dropped it how you know the people ain't over there in the woods <laughs> on the yes. mountain looking she up here putting her clothes on and we got the um the balcony wide open and we pulling into port how you know ain't nobody sitting over there with binoculars <laughs> Um, I know in some previous clips y'all have seen this black bar and that's the shutter. The shutter doesn't open all the way. I have to manually do it. Depending on the background you couldn't tell but now I can tell because it's brighter. If the background was a darker background I couldn't tell that the shutter wasn't all the way. So I have to boom. So I definitely gonna have to take this camera to get it fixed. We're going on an excursion today. It's going to be super it? fun. The whale well watching excursion. So make sure you take your drum of me because we're going out on another boat. And then at the end, girl, it's going to be a seafood feast. But um, hopefully I lost a couple pounds during this cruise because y'all, I honestly haven't been eating that. I mean, I eat, but I haven't been pigging out like I usually do. And then <laughs> we've been doing a lot of walking. So hopefully... I either maintained, which I don't want to maintain, but I'd rather maintain than gain. So hopefully I maintain. Why are you wearing that with that? Lots of, well, uh, it's really rainy, cold, windy, and cloudy. Hopefully it clears up. This is our boat right here. some more footage for y'all. Me, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah. 
Did you hear him singing? I didn't hear I him heard singing. Him. <laughs> they got a good view right, right there, bro. Child, that was amazing. We on our way to seafood feast right now. It's still wet and nasty out here, but it was so worth it. This big thing. <laughs> You can go around here. It's our feast. You should grab a Sprite. I'm about to go get some water. Time for s'mores. And it's raining even more. Well, chocolate and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, your sticks. I mean, your. Uh... I'm not gonna make it to a s'more. Oh, you're not. No, it's like doing all Look that. Look at this professional s'more maker right here, boy. My chocolate gonna be melted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, like my marshmallow, like burnt to a crisp. That's what I'm trying. Right up in here. I'm getting wood all over it. Fire feels good. Okay. That's how I like it. Why is it getting strong? Got it? Yeah. Uh huh. Chocolate melted in there. Yeah. 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 Got the chocolate. perfect s'more. Oh, so, oh, you just eat it separate? <laughs> about 4.30 and we're about to sell away at 5 I believe and it is still raining it has been raining non-stop all day today it's not but on the positive side of the rain uh our guide told us that the whales love the rain and <laughs> they love you know weather like this so that's why or one of the reasons they were so active today What's good, y'all? What is good? Today is Friday. We're in Juneau, Alaska, and we're about to get off the ship. We got here early. We were supposed to go through, um, darn it, I forgot the name, but I'll put it right here on the screen. You go through glaciers, but the captain made an announcement and said that it was too foggy and he didn't want to risk it. So, oh, they walking now? Yeah, we might as well walk like we did. What? No, because <laughs> the elevator's going to take forever. So, um, yeah, he didn't want to risk going over there. So, um, so we just came straight to Juno. We was going to make a little stop and a little to see the glaciers. And then we suspected to be arriving in Juno at 1 p.m. But 
we arrived early. It's 11 a.m. Yep. <laughs> Told you. It's 11 a.m. So we're about to go down here and see what we can get into. Look at that beauty, y'all. Okay, we're about to go over here and check out these tours. Because like I told y'all, all of the excursions, the good excursions were sold out by the time I booked our cruise. So, right here, Glacier Bus, yeah. So what's the difference? Whale watching and Glacier Combo. Typical. Hmm. Egg drop soup. I want the This egg drop soup. That's delicious. You never taste that egg drop soup before? Yeah. I'm trying a little bit. If I knew it was only like that, I would have got some. So this Asian restaurant, they said it was legit. It's, it's really, they said it's really good. I didn't have any or I didn't get any, but it's called Asiana Garden too. And Alright y'all, let me eat at Tracy's King Crab Shack again. The line is super long, but guess what? I'm about to go get in it. This is our ship. It's like five different cruise ships here. This is ours, and then we got, I think, Holland America over here. It's a carnival ship, a Disney ship. Hopefully it moved fast, huh? Okay. I'm about to go find this pizza stuff. All right. Something quick. He about to go find a pizza place that he seen on. That he looked up. I said, you don't want no seafood. He about to go find some pizza. y'all so we're still on the tour we just toured the city a little bit and then he dropped us off here at Mendenhall which is where the glacier is we came here last year but we decided to do or walk the trail which is 30 minutes there 30 minutes back we only got an hour and a half here so 30 minutes there 30 minutes back to Nugget Falls which is the big waterfall that we hike down or hike to last year so they actually leaving me because I'm vlogging so let me put a little pep in my step because we're trying to hurry up we had to rush the last time it's cool so I'm glad we was able to get a tour because like I said all of the tours that had anything to do with Mendenhall was sold out and I've been checking constantly for a month straight. So glad to have the tours outside of the uh, cruise. It was ooh, $72 per person. Oh, there's Naya up there. Cleveland ain't nowhere in sight. So he really left us. All right, y'all. So last time we were here, the water level wasn't this high. You could just walk out there and get over you was like can walk right up to the falls if y'all remember but this is uh how i gotta get there today climbing on these rocks otherwise you ain't getting over here so i left them they kind of back there he said it's about a 30 minute walk i think i walked in on like 12 but i'm here beautiful as it was last time but it wasn't a 
it wasn't a lake. So apparently this is as far as you could go unless you got some deep, some pretty deep boots. Cause we were like, we walked all the way up to it last time. It wasn't like this. All of this water wasn't here, obviously. Wow, it's so beautiful. It's a couple of little icebergs floating out there. But listen to the rawness of the falls. to sit here for a second and absorb this beauty. I know it's a lot of y'all out there that love nature, but you, you just have to be here. You have to be here. But for those who can't be here, I guess this is good enough, right? Mm -hmm. Can y'all believe that the glacier was all the way up here at some point? Evidence written in stone. As the glacier grinds its way down the valley, its tremendous weight crushes and smooths the bedrock below. When the glacier retreats, it leaves behind a smooth, polished looking bedrock like that adjacent to the sign. That's crazy, right? You can't even see it from here right now. It's receded so much. But that junk was all the way down here comes all back up in here there it is way back there what's up what's good battery let me hurry up I just want to come on here and say hey today is Saturday um, this is our last full day of the cruise we are on our way to Victoria Canada but I don't know what the degrees is but it's not as cold we'll be pulling in port at 5 p.m. it's kind of weird arriving at a port so late got to be back on the ship by 9 the TV loud. Let me go out here. The seas is not as rough. But yesterday, honey, I don't know what was going on. The seas was mad. They was mad at somebody. <laughs> because. Oh, and it about took me out. Cleveland and Naya went to a show. Like a talent show. I stayed back because your girl. I'm just too tired. This. <laughs> I know it's vacation. But you still ripping and running. Girl, I just need to relax and then when we get back, I'm gonna be headed right back out. Look, I ain't complaining, but I'm just saying, I'm too old for this. But I'm just trying to live my best life, child. To Chinatown and we loop around, bring you back to the boat. Okay. On time. <laughs> Oh, you don't get off or... Oh, somebody? no, it's hop on, hop off. Oh, so okay. if you wanted to stop and eat somewhere around here or do some shopping or we go for a walk in the gardens, um, okay. so you get your steps into, uh, and, and yeah, it's everything. Okay, and you ride on them? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. What does that put, a horse or a person? Uh, so we got we got thunder and lightning here. And really? we run you around the city, yes. 
Wow. It's a very unique experience, the only place in North America where it's offered. And uh, if you're looking to have a unique, memorable day, this is a great way to do it. They wanted to hop on, hop off. So the, the usual, uh, one, two, five per person. And, uh, and you got him, and he's got you. Okay. He's a gentleman and a scholar and a fine judge of scotch. So we'll That's take true. All three things. Wow. Where are you guys from? Florida. Florida? Right on. Which part? Orlando. Orlando. That's the only part of Florida I've been to. So yeah, he just gonna pull us around town. I was like, so you're gonna be able to pull all three of us around? He's like, yeah, we do it all the time. Well, it feel like you would think Ooh. they were. Yeah, I thought they would be like soft. Yeah. yeah. Mm, they're rough. Yeah. Look how big this is. Look at the tits. This is a big car. Look Beaver tails, that's what I was looking for. The little Canadian snacks. Well, I'm about to go stand in this line over here. They got poutine here as well, so I didn't kill two birds with one stone. What? Talking about the gravy? Hello Kitty. What flavor is that? Cherry lime. It's probably good. Shaved ice. What y'all know about Razzles? This is my favorite candy when I was a kid. We used to go to, um, we used to walk or ride our bikes up to Perry Drugs <laughs> and get these. This is my three sixty nine dollars I'm pretty sure it was probably like 50 cents back then. Uh, Swinkies Alright, 
right, so the port looks busy. <laughs> it's time to get off of this mug. Well, we ain't in no rush because our flight don't leave to 3.15 or we don't board until 3.15. It leaves at 3.55. I don't know when we got to be off of the ship, but we're going to stall as much as possible. All right, y'all, we off. Just got to walk a mile to our lift. We've been walking for a good minute. But it's $81 to take a lift from the cruise port to the airport. So we at the airport. We still got about three hours left, so we about to grab something to eat. Good thing we got clear. I don't know if y'all noticed that on the previous vlog. That line was super long. Probably a good 45 minute wait. You can either do your fingerprint or they scan your eyes. You show them your passport and your boarding pass. An agent, a clear agent, uh, walk you right past all of those people straight to the front of, um, we still gotta do TSA. I do plan on doing the TSA pre-check thing. It's just that we have to go to the airport to do it. You can't just do it online from my understanding. We'll probably do that soon, but clear is a must. It's definitely a must. I love your thoughts. Thank you. So <laughs> Thank you. Like you. Right. <laughs> I got the 4.30. That's plenty of sauce for you. Yep. Just the way I like it. So I'm going over here to this restaurant. It's a seafood restaurant. time on vacation i can't even hold you okay but snap back to reality oh there goes gravity let me get some rest oh all right monday time to go ahead and head out you know what i'm saying get the week started i feel refreshing and brand new you know how that go <laughs> all right now okay all right we could just we're gonna go in there and get the shoes okay we're gonna go in there and get the shoes and then we're gonna unpack and then we're gonna go ahead we leaving back out where you going you you're going to leave it open. I like how you think. You think it's smarter, not harder. So if you come in Wednesday, you can go ahead and put everything away. It can already be open. So you're just going to walk. So now you don't see it. Now we ain't got no damn clothes. You in there searching for clothes that wasn't worn on a vacation. Girl, just take them out of the suitcase. That's all you got. Not putting it back. What you got? Now you don't want to If you just unpack the suitcase, you can have clothes and you ain't got to go shopping. What are you doing?